So when they saw that uh, I was back this morning, they came and surrounded my home around zero five hours. Uh, when my workers were reporting for work, they said there are police officers who have surrounded the, the, the house. So I called uh, uh, Emmanuel Mamba and he sent it viral. When they realized that it had gone viral, they went and they came and picked all the police officers, leaving only two uh, uh, plain clothes outside. And we were informed that their plan was that they wanted to force their way into my premises and house and create a narrative that I was a fugitive running away from the police. So that when they don't give me police bond, when they charge me, they say he was running away from police to create a narrative why they want to lock me up uh, without uh, giving me police bond. But uh, when we realized that I called the lawyers quickly and we reported ourselves as uh, planned. Because uh, we wrote to them that I was going to come on uh, Monday. And I have come, as promised. Why do they want to create a scene? Why are they behaving like this? This is not right. This is not the country that we want. And this is unfortunate. So we'll go in and listen to what they want from me. Thank you very much. Well, look, let's wait for him. He verifies which office you're supposed to go to. Then we go in. Uh, so, as you are witnessing the development, uh, we, we've said Zambia is not a police state. Zambia is a democracy run by the rule of law. Um, many Zambians celebrated when the Public Order Act was repealed. Little did they know that the police will find another law which they'll be using against political opponents. And now it has become very clear. Officer, more women. Okay, guys, uh, the police are here. I think we will go in and we'll, we'll, we'll brief you later. But the Siandenge days are numbered. These are just politics. So we told them we are coming on Monday. We don't see any reason why they should be coming to surround the house as early as 5 o'clock. You know? Wanting to create a narrative that I'm a fugitive, I'm running away from them. I can't run away from the police. I've been called several times and I report myself. So my lawyers have just arrived and we are going to force headquarters just now. Thank you very much. So, Tapiwa, there you have it. Uh, Mr. Papi, just explain to us what yes, was transpiring much earlier. And as we speak, we'll be heading uh, to uh, police force headquarters just now, where he's supposed to make appearance. Uh, for me, rather, right, more like That they forced me to go to the police. Oh, that's the intention. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is the So, we are mm -hmm. Yeah. Some say that No, I'm a license and a BMW, this is a chance if you don't have a chance. Mattress, my medicines and everything. And kill them. That we get to one. Let me move on. Good morning, viewers, listeners, and all catching us up. I'm Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba. I've just rushed here at Honorable Chimbakambuili's home in Woodlands. Um, 
uh, around seven to eight hours, uh, I think the police stormed this area. Uh, there were a number of uh, officers. Um, Honorable Chimbakambwili is expected to report to the police at 10 hours. Uh, so he's surprised that the police uh, followed him up at his house and you know surrounded his house when his lawyer has already informed the command that he will report to the police at uh, 10 hours. This occurrence also uh, happened on uh, Saturday where the police came here and surrounded his house. According to Honorable Chimbakambuili, when he received the call out on Wednesday, he informed the police that uh, he was unavailable and that uh, he will be back in Lusaka on um, 6th February, meaning today. Uh, despite that notice to the police, a written notice by his lawyers, um, the police still came looking for him on Saturday. You must have seen his live broadcast where he complained about the police not giving him space. And this morning again, the police officers were here. I think when a, a media notice was done by Honorable Ted, but they've left a few officers that are here. But Honorable is at, um, uh, at 10 hours. So we are wondering why treating <laughs> political leaders like criminals, treating them like uh, criminals coming with arms, armed uh, officers as if you are going to uh, raid a criminal den. Uh, totally this is unacceptable. We won't save any of our police number. We are a democracy. We are not a police state. We um, a democracy governed by the rule of law. If the police want anyone, they should merely issue a police call out and such a person who report to the police this business of harassing officers, harassing political leaders, is totally unacceptable. We are part of democracy, we are part of the governance of this country, and treating us like criminals is unaccepted. But police, for me, I would appeal that they exercise restraint. Um, and also it flies in the face of assurances by President Haka in the Ichilema, who says the police will only pick you when they've investigated matters and they'll be civil about it. Remember, President Naka in the Ichilema himself repeatedly complained about the harassment that he received from the police. He said he was arrested 16 times. And um, we thought that there will be no repeat or reoccurrence of um, uh, the same issues that President Naka in the Ichilema was subjected to, where political leaders literally in know, spend all their time at the police for one case or another. This is not good for our democracy. It paints a very bad picture to government, a government that wants to portray itself that it's a democratic government, is promoting rule of law and is promoting uh, good governance in the country and in Africa. Okay, so we, Honorable Chimbakambwili has been charged and arrested with the case of unlawful assembly. He's been co-charged with um, a young man called Charles Kakula, who had led the demonstration, I'm told, of about five youths to his residence. The police have stated that this uh, was um, a case of uh, unlawful assembly, even if it occurred at uh, Dr. Kambuili's private home. The vehicle in front is the one transporting Honorable Chimba Kambuili from police service headquarters to a police station. We are yet to be advised. So we thought we could walk with you as we follow up the car and see where Honorable Kambuili is being taken. If you have any question or comment, comment there, then we'll see if we can answer you. The details are that on 26th January 2023, Charles Kakula and other persons led the demonstration or a protest march at Dr. Kambuili's residence in um, Woodlands and the police have stated that such, a, such 
constituted an offense of unlawful assembly. So Dr. Kambuli has been has since been charged and arrested with the case of uh, uh, unlawful assembly. He's been jointly charged with Charles Kakula. Charles Kakula has been in detention for the last eight days. He has not been given bond and he has not appeared in court. Similarly, Dr. Kambuili has uh, been charged. The lawyers uh, requested that he be given bond, especially that this is a case of Miss Demena. But uh, we will hear what the police will, uh, will say whether Dr. Kambuili will be given bond. I'm told there is a third person or others that the police are still looking for for this case of unlawful assembly. issued a statement and stated that um, Zambia is a democracy. It's not a police state. The frequency in which opposition leaders um, are going, uh, being taken to the police for one charge or another, you know, is now amounting literally to harassing opposition leaders. Um, at the beginning, it were cases of Allegations of corruption, there were numerous searches that were done, especially on patriotic front, former leaders. Uh, now we've seen cases, in this case, public order act cases of an awful assembly, or people that have issued statements. The police have now veered to using the cyber law and Crimes Act that was passed in 2020-2021. In there, although the law was designed to fight uh, crimes occurring on cyberspace, it has elements in which uh, there is elements of hate speech. You have seen Chapter 1 Foundation even went to court to try to expand the articles in that law which infringe on freedom of expression and freedom to hold con uh, thoughts, freedom of conscience. There are sections there that are quite bad. Chapter 1 has petitioned the court. The Minister of Justice has assured the nation that there will be amendment done to the Cyber Law and Crimes Act. Okay, I need to answer this call. Good afternoon, sir. Very well. Now, I just wanted to inform you that we, Honorable Chimbakambuili has been uh, charged and arrested for a lawful assembly and is being taken to an unknown police station, but we don't know whether it's Chilanga or Baumoro in Makeni. So we are following the vehicles here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The lawyers have remained. They're trying to negotiate a, a police bond. And I think we have some MPs that have uh, uh, signed the letters, you know, of assurances to the police. So uh, Kennedy, the lawyers, remained behind with their... Oh, a Kennedy member from Fed, uh, Fed Jerry. Yes, yes. So he's remained behind while I followed where they are taking Kambuli. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'll brief you later. Okay, thanks. Thank you. So I was saying, the police are now using the Cyber Law and Crimes Act of 2021 or 2020, I'm not sure. They are in, it was passed by the Patriot Front to deal with the crimes that have occurred, that have uh, emerged 
in the cyberspace. People are being defrauded, banks are being raided, the IT systems are being raided, ordinary people are being, you know, by these fake uh, mobile money crimes. There are many crimes occurring, but there was an inclusion <coughs> to include crimes of hate speech that occur on social media, and uh, it is those sections relating to hate speech that uh, the police are now using. And I'm aware that all of which is a diabetic patient. That's true. He's usually, in, I think, is it every 12 hours? And then you take him to a place like this. Just go straight, follow the tarmac up to where the tarmac turns to your right, you, you follow the dead road. Uh -huh. Yes, just then follow the dead road. And you No, you just go straight. Then you are going to find the Amazons across. You turn to your left way to Sriten uh, Balmoral Primary School. You find uh, a poster for a youth resource center. Turn to your left and follow that dead road. Yes. Cases of unlawful assembly. They've been contested a lot. We've been. Uh, oh, we are here. We are here. Young time. We are here. We are here. We are here. Young We are here. Young time. We want to work on this.